Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Nicole here from my Pandora Charmed Life. Today I'm bringing you a video that you guys keep asking for, and it's, can you please get us an update on your entire Pandora collection? So, sit back, relax, and let's go through at a very high level all of my pieces that are in my current Pandora collection as of August 2018. First, we'll take an overview look at what my ring collection looks like. I have pretty much a variety of everything from Pandora Rose to Silvers to some nice statement pieces to ones I like to stack. Moving over to this tray, I did manage to get every single month for the birthday bloom, so that collection is complete. My Nature Serenity sitting there in the middle, that's kind of my signature piece. Then you have a few other ones which just add a pop of color and only one from the Shine collection. My earring collection is quite small. It is made up of just a few dangles and a few studs. So the light as the feather dangles are my all time favorite. We have some new ones from the, we have some new ones from the summer collection and I've yet to wear them. And then I have Loving Guidance, which are those wings. And then over here, we have one more set of dangles and the rest are really just studs. We have two sets of the birthday blooms. My favorite of the studs have got to be the stars and then Light as a Feather in both Silver and Pandora Rose. So I have a pretty modest earring collection. Earrings are not my go-to pieces when it comes to Pandora. For necklaces, I do have two chokers. One is the fabric choker, one is the heart swirls choker. The pendant that I have on my choker is the Blooming Dahlia. And then I do have two pendants that are the Light is a Feather, one in Pandora Rose, one in Silver. And then I have uh, floating lockets as pendants as well. I won't go into the floating lockets in the petites. I just did a video, but I will include a link on those here. For essence, I have two bracelets. One is on the beaded chain, one is on the regular snake chain, and then I have a few loose pieces. I recently did an update on my essence collection, which you can also find in a previous video, which I will link here. Moving on to mesh bracelets. These are my new favorites. So I do have two of the silver mesh bangles. One is themed Winnie the Pooh for the Christopher Robin movie that I just saw. And he's so cute with the little daisy spacers next to him. And then the My Pandora Charmed Life theme silver bangle. And then the Pandora Rose, which I play around with charms most recently. I have worn it plain. These are my mesh bracelets and currently my favorite bracelets that Pandora has out. I do have some bangles that are not moments pieces. So they do not put any charms, or so you can't put any charms on them, but there's an open bangle and then the Radiant Hearts of Pandora bangles I have in light blue, cerise, and light pink. For open bangles, I currently just have two, one with the sparkly caps and one with just the plain silver caps. I have them in size one and size two. The size two is slightly too big. The size one is slightly smaller than I would like it to be, but these are my open bangles. I have nine bangles and I am trying to focus more on getting some with the special clasp so you can see Four of those are right here, and they all have their own theme. I have a fairy tale theme, my so many reasons theme, and my Christmas theme. And then I do have some two tones. I have a Pandora rose two tone and a gold two tone, which currently just has stars on it. The St. Patrick's Day theme, a new theme I'm working on here. That was a 4th of July theme. Now it can be open for something else. 
and my Halloween theme that I'm not completed with. It just has the charms on there. I'm not sure how I want it to look. This is what I have so far in the bangles. From the Shine Collection, I just have one bracelet. It's adjustable and it's the Honey Bee bracelet. You can get a closer look of this bracelet on my shine video. Okay, so here's where it's going to get busy. Here is a comp my completed bracelets that I've just kind of piled up. And we will go through these very quickly. This is a Pandora Rose two-tone bracelet that has a mixture of Pandora Rose and silver, and a lot of them are similar designs. Uh, the silver version of the Pandora Rose. Centerpiece on here is a gift from my sister. This completed bracelet theme is my 14 karat gold bracelet. This bracelet is inspired by the wood beads on here as well as shine and has a mixture of some gold and some silver on here as well. Doesn't necessarily have a theme. It's kind of my, my earthy theme. So right here is a two-tone bracelet and it used to be a fairy tale theme bracelet, but now I think I'm changing it to be a uh, two-tone hearts because majority of these charms have hearts on them so been planning on doing an in-depth video look at this one as well here is my women's theme bracelet it is currently complete but i might be changing it with some Muranos that i have coming from rulala but this is my women's theme bracelet This bracelet right here is my Asian theme slash good luck bracelet. A lot, this bracelet was inspired by a lot of the Asian exclusives and I uh, just kind of built it from there. This bracelet is my work inspired bracelet, which if you watch my videos, you um, may have seen it recently completed and posted and designed on a film. This blue bracelet is a bracelet that is inspired by things that Presley and I have done together. This little card never stays closed on me. It makes me pretty sad, but I do have a backup. This bracelet right here was made after my Disneyland trip when I first took Presley in 2017. A lot of these you can find videos on um, in my previous videos, so I'll go ahead and put some links in the description for you to find them. This is my enchanted, my enchanted Garden bracelet. This one was inspired by the Muranos. I fell in love with these Muranos. I rarely ever get four Muranos, but this one I, I had to get four of. This bracelet was inspired by the Disneyland trip that we took this year in 2018. Has a lot of Disney Parks exclusives on, exclusives on that. This bracelet is my black theme bracelet. It's black, silver, gray has a lot of oldies but goodies on here.
my purple themed bracelet or my Sunshine Diva bracelet inspired by the sunglasses. I've just moved this onto this clasp right here. And my Unity bracelet, which has some Pandora and some ohm beads. And it's all silver or CZ with one little moonstone. This one is my Honey Bunny bracelet inspired by some charms that I've gotten from my boyfriend and then some that are just kind of lovey-dovey that I've picked up myself. This one is my Presley inspired bracelet, so all things Presley. This is my ocean theme bracelet. I was inspired to make this one when I moved away from Seattle just to remember being so close to the water. And then my Pandora rose and silver and enamel bracelet. These are kind of centered around these hearts, which I got for Mother's Day, one from my sister and one from my boyfriend. And then a lot of some older pieces that I've been lucky to get a hold of. Those are the completed bracelets that I have. So I have quite a few works in progress. One that is constantly a work in progress is a travel bracelet. So I'm not happy with how this turned out. So it's never like complete, but I do have a travel bracelet I'm working on. This bracelet I'm actually redoing. It's on a 19 blue CZ class, but I really am not happy with the size 19. So I'm gonna kind of redo a blue theme, still some of the stars for a different a different bracelet. So this is a work in progress. This bracelet is going to be what I'm going to be calling my sweet dreams bracelet. And there will be a very detailed video when I am able to complete this. Uh, completing it is critical that I get Bruno the Unicorn come the autumn collection so more to come on this one i am always working on a fall theme bracelet so this is a work in progress and hopefully i'll be able to make some traction with the new collection coming out as well uh, this is just a purple bracelet that i don't really have a plan for so this is kind of just sitting there this right here is a Mickey Minnie Mouse theme work in progress that will definitely be Mickey Minnie inspired. I'd gotten this one from my boyfriend. I got this on a trip we took to Disneyland. This was in a sale and then this reminds me of me and my guy. So there'll be some sort of Mickey Minnie um, theme which will likely go on one of these bracelets. So. I have the Starry Night clasp. That's obviously for a star theme. I have the heart clasp that is, could maybe be the sweet dreams if I don't keep it on the smooth bracelet. I have the Pandora Rose smooth bracelet that I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with that. And then I have the lobster clasp with the safety chain. Not sure what I'm going to do with this either, but I have so many options. So those are my works in progress. And for leathers, I only have one leather that has charms on it. I will probably never undo this one because I think all these charms look so good together. So there's my pink leather. They're all double wrap. So I have a black leather. 
I have the Honeysuckle Pink, I believe. I need to do something with this. It would totally work, work. It would totally match my work theme things. I have champagne. Well, the bracelet. I wish I had champagne with me. And then the light blue. You might notice some of these have a round clasp and some of these have the classic barrel clasp. I think it just uh, depends on when they were made. But these are my leathers. I really want a gray one, but I don't ever, I hardly ever use these. So I'm like, will I even use my gray one? I don't even know. Last but definitely not least are my loose ends or my charms that do not have a home yet, which will likely go on some of my works in progress. Uh, this rod has a lot of the Christmas charms and then some pieces that are hobby things I like and some that are travel. Then I have a random set of clips back here. And then this stick has some newbies that I've acquired. I just got the Hope Chest from a Facebook seller. Uh, this Radiant Hearts charm I need to make a theme around. And then just some, some leftovers as I've taken some of my bracelets apart. Soccer ball represents Presley's very first sport. This one is like Dangle City. Like there's so many dangles in this one from stars to butterflies to flowers to hearts to Tinkerbell's shoe. Uh, so many dangles on this. These ones are my, these ones are, whoopsie. <laughs> these ones are some of my colorful spacers and some Star spacers, rose spacers, another radiant heart charm that has yet to find a home. The color is just so unique. It's hard to pair this up with anything. And then this one was a leftover from my work inspired bracelet. This one here has mine and Presley zodiac sign. Just some leftover charms, one of the club charms. I'm on a mission for 2015, and once I do, I might get creative with what I do with my club charms. Not sure yet. Here are some more leftover Pandora rose charms, this old silver one, and little Alice in the Potion bottle. Here are my Muranos that are currently not in use. A lot of the Disney princesses on here. They're all Disney princess minus these two. And I have a rod of extra clips. And then I have a rod of my recent Rue La La pieces that I'll be doing a um, summer haul on Rue La La. I've just been getting like onesies, twosies here and there. So as soon as I get my latest order, I'll do a Rue La La haul. So that is the latest update on all things Pandora that I have in my collection. You got to see my completed bracelets, my works in progress, bangles, non-moments, bracelets, essence, leathers, and just my pieces that are lying around waiting to find a home. So hopefully you enjoyed this overview of my collection. Thank you guys for the request. Sorry it's taken me so long to film it, but I'm like, how do I do this and keep it like under half an hour or something? As always, thank you guys for tuning in. I super appreciate it. If there's a piece you're dying to know more about, leave me a comment and I will and I will do an updated video on that specific piece. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe and don't forget to hit that little don't forget to hit the little notification bell. That way you're notified the next time I upload my next video. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time.